This is the second part of a two-part overview showing you how to get started in Mix Emergency by going over the essentials and basic functionality. This part covers overlays, MIDI, display controls, and Serato DJ integration. To activate overlays, click on this icon here in the main Mix Emergency window. And what overlays are? are an additional video element placed over your main output. So what we have here is the text overlay. And to activate this, you click on this on switch. In this white box, you can type the desired text. I'll go and switch this back to Doc Optic. You also have the option of changing the font by clicking this button here and the option of changing the color of your font. This first knob over here is your mix knob and what this does is change the opacity of the text on top of the main output. Next to that is the scale knob which changes the size of the text. To the right is the X and Y knobs which change the position this drop down below the knobs is the effects drop down, and this applies a simple effect to your overlay. As you can see, this one rotates, this one pulses your text, and this small knob to the right adjusts the speed of the overlay effects. So if you move it to the far right, it speeds it up fast and slows it down to the left. Below the text overlay, we have the image overlay. And by dragging and dropping an image directly into this small window here, you can load it up and adjust the same parameters as the text overlay. So here I have the Doc Optic logo. And it pretty much functions the same way as the text overlay. Below that, you can load up Quartz Composer Compositions and you also have the option of using a video input such as a webcam or any external video source connected to your computer and those video sources will act as an overlay on top of your main video the midi button right here is used to map the mix emergency interface to any midi controller you can map any red highlighted ui element to your MIDI controller or mixer. Click on the red part of the UI that you want to map and make sure that Learn New Control is highlighted. And then go ahead and activate any button on your MIDI controller to map it. It's pretty simple. So next I'll go over full screen controls. And this display drop down here allows you to choose which secondary display receives full screen video. And if you double click on a window, you can go full screen that way. There's also this button here on the right of the drop down, which allows you to go full screen as well. And by default, your computer's primary display shows the window of the main output. And if you click on this toggle output window button, that hides the main output window for you. Since I'm using a single display, you can't really tell. But if you have a projector hooked up, it'll show in the drop down menu. Finally, I'll go over Serato DJ integration. So I have Mix Emergency loaded on top of Serato DJ. And to synchronize Serato DJ with Mix Emergency, you choose Serato DJ from the drop down menu on the right here. And if everything is set up correctly, you'll notice that this LED turns to green. So my videos are currently paused, and that's because there's no audio playing. So I'll go and drag some audio tracks into Serato DJ and play them. And right off the bat, you notice that the videos start playing. And this is because the left and right Serato decks are synchronized to the left and right video channels. 
the great thing about this integration is that mix emergency videos actually inherit some of the settings from Serato's audio and you also have the advantage of being able to use your Serato controller you can't actually see this but I'm using the up faders on my mixer to control the left and right video channels and this is only possible if you have the toggles turned on and as you can see I'm also controlling the crossfader as well with everything linked up your DJ performance also affects your VJ performance so if you look on the Serato interface here you'll notice that I'm scratching the right deck and you can do the same thing with the left as well so this is actually really nice that everything works so seamlessly some of the other integrated features are the ability to set up mixer effects and like I mentioned BPM and some audio reactive effects as well so one of the features I wanted to highlight is the ability to link a mix emergency video to an audio music track in Serato under the TS tab in the control panel here you'll see this link with audio toggle and what that does is link the video that you have playing in the current channels to the associated audio track in your Serato decks so I'll load up two different songs here and what I'll do is load up videos for each of the songs as well when I load up the song that was playing earlier you'll notice that the video that was playing also shows up so that's an example of linking the audio with a video in Mix Emergency so there's this icon here which lets you pin Mix Emergency on top of Serato DJ so what you can do is set up the interface the way you want and right now it's not pinned but if you switch back to Mix Emergency and pin the windows it'll stay on top of Serato DJ and these are the basics of Mix Emergency there are a lot of features and effects included so play around with it and see what it has to offer thanks for watching this is a second part of a two-part series so if you didn't see the first make sure to check that out if you need visuals make sure to check out our website we have all the visuals you've seen on this video available along with some freebies that you can check out and use in your sets right away